I was scheduled for 12 o'clock. That's our music. See, that was my son lighting. That was Alex. He just left. I'm Howie Mandel. This is Howie Mandel Does Stuff. I'm Jacqueline Schultz, his daughter. And I'm really excited today. I know you are. Okay, because I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows this, but I'm mm. on TikTok. Think people, people? I, think people, I think people know. <laughs> But not only do I post, more I spend more more time listening yeah. and watching uh -huh. and finding. And I found this guy, Sonny. The, the, what's the name of the group, Sonny? We are Sonny and the Black Pack. That's our official name. But our, our TikTok name is Black Media Presents. Okay. And uh, anyway, Black Media Presents, which if you're not following, and they're on right now, you're on TikTok Live. So everybody that's listening on TikTok Live right now knows this. But anybody who's listening or watching this on YouTube right now, Black Media, you got to watch this. I watch, are you on every night? We, we used to be on every night. We'd had to dial it back because I got to get a little more rest. But, but we're on Tuesday through Thursday, 8.30 p.m. PST or PDT. And then we're on Fridays at noon. That's a new time okay. that we added. This is the golden buzzer of TikTok. This is the, these guys are amazing musicians amazing human beings and uh well sonny i know you introduce me to the rest of the band okay so this is alex let me change cameras real quick i, I won't be able to do this in performance i know but, but some I'll people are this. and talk like you remember this is a podcast so a lot of people are just listening to audible okay right all right so um this this guy right here um oops excuse me that is Alex right there. Yes. That's Alex Rain. And Alex He's our guitarist. guitarist. Um, and uh, he's official Kala ukulele guitarist. Wonderful, wonderful person. Really great guy. He produces for us. He writes with us. He's one of my best friends in the whole world. And that's Alex Rain. Can he's, I be honest with you, just from watching and as a viewer, I've never liked Alex. <laughs> Oh, you know, I, I felt the same way. I, I, same thing. I just can't stand him. I can't stand him. And on uh, percussion? And on percussion, we've got... Mr. Jake Stockley, he's also our band manager. Um, he, he handles all the tech and a lot of uh, the background business, um, but he's our percussionist, our drummer, and he also sings backup along with Alex, too. Both yeah. of them sing backup as well. Do you guys tour? Because I wanted you to come down. You know? Okay, so we used to tour. Um, right before COVID happened, um, we had gone our, on our biggest leg. We, we got asked personally by Boz Skaggs to, to open for him. Wow. And uh, it was amazing. It was awesome. But then COVID came, and right at the same time, I actually kind of some kind of weird kismet or destiny. I actually got really sick um, right before COVID hit. And I was in the hospital when COVID came. I got really sick. I had an infection because I, I, I suffered from lymphedema. And um, what is that? It got me really bad. I, I actually almost died. I'm they, sorry. They removed a pound, like, I don't know about this big of flesh out of my body because it had gone necrotic from a infection that, that was inside my body. Um, so I don't know what anything that, happened, that you're saying, it, I know it, it sounds bad. I don't know what a chronic is. I don't know what lymphatic, whatever you're saying you have. What is that? It's, um, uh, so basically because of my size, I'm a big guy, um, something happened with my circulation and in certain areas of my body, uh, it started to take in lymph, uh, lymph fluid and it started to expand oh and, and get really, really big and, and ginormous. And in that area that's affected, um, it's my lower stomach, my kind of lower belly. Um, and in the area that affected, it got actually, because of the bad circulation, um, I, I had an infection. Oh. And it was, it was really bad because I couldn't see it. I couldn't tell it was there. It just was there happening inside. The flesh inside actually started dying. And then when that happens, it could spread throughout all your body. My, my body started going sepsis and all this stuff. And oh, wow. it's just really scary. But luckily, we caught it in time. I got an operation. They took out all the bad stuff. Um, I mean, I'm not fixed. I still deal with lymphedema every day, which is this bad circulation sorry, I buddy. have. You know, I'm sorry. It's all good. But I mean, I'll tell you, as bad as that sounds, you make so many people feel good with your sound. I'm, I'll talk to you a little bit more, but I want just people who haven't heard you before uh, just to hear something. And th th listen, you have original music. You're an amazing musician yourself. He plays keyboard. I love your ukulele playing. And uh, I, I watch everything. Just to give you an idea, and one of the first things I heard was the, um, the theme song to Toys R Us. 
And I went, yes. oh my yes. God, what is that? And can you just play the theme song, the Toys R Us, your style? You, you got it, you got it. Listen to All this, right, let's, and let's, you'll hear why I became a fan. Let's do this. All right. <sighs> you ready? Uh, no, just give me a second. Now I am. <laughs> Let's talk to the boys. Come on, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. I don't want to grow up. I am a Toys R Us kid. A million toys at Toys R Us. I can play with I want to grow up. I am a Toys R Us kid. Got the best for so much less. You really flip your lid from bikes to chains to video games. The biggest toy store that there is. I don't wanna grow up, cause baby, if I did, I couldn't be a toy on kid. I don't want to know. I'm a Toys R Us kid A million toys at Toys R Us That I can play with I don't wanna grow up I'm a Toys R Us kid They got the best for so much left You're out of flip your lid From bikes to trains To video games The biggest toy store that there is Awesome. Is that a hummus too? Gosh, Wait, you're going is that to the next kazoo, round? Is that a kazoo trumpet? Yeah, it's it's just a kazoo, but it's just shaped like a trumpet with little buttons on it. But it's like, here, let me see. It's like. Oh, wow. That's it's, the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Where you're sitting is cool. What is your collection behind you? Uh, oh, oh, Besides which, the guitars on, on, okay, on the other um, screen, toys. Yeah, this is a bunch, a bunch of toys. So I'm a big, um, I'm a big toy nerd. I love um, Transformers. Right. I have Transformers. I have um, all sorts of different trans. I have weird Transformers that you can't find. Um, all sorts of weird collections of Ninja Turtles down there. Right. And uh, there's uh, some weird stuffed animal I just have there. One of my relatives gave me that. And then there's a there's a puppet. There's that's me as a puppet wow. right there. So you are a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> I. I I very much am. I really am. I, it was like a dream of mine when I was a kid to go and hang out at Toys R Us Kid. That's all I, or Toys R Us. That's all I wanted to do was just hang out at Toys R Us. Well, if they were still open, I'm telling you, they would probably hire you to be the spokesperson musical. <laughs> I, I heard that they're, they're reopening. I'm, they I'm are. not sure what the deal is. They are. I well, heard that gotta, too. If anybody here has anything, anybody who's listening has anything to do with Toys R Us, the reinvention of Toys R Us, this is got to be your updated theme. It really does. So what's the weirdest, uh, what kind of music when you, uh, like, I also heard you do like Itsy Bitsy Spider and things like that, uh, and also like classics. What do you enjoy? You enjoy it all. Man, uh, oh, honestly, we enjoyed everything we play. There's, there's nothing that we play where we, we don't enjoy it. We And that's kind of a rule of ours. So we, we don't do it unless we enjoy it. But we do everything from from like, you know, nursery rhyme stuff, which has been the big thing lately. Yeah. Um, to like jazz, funk, hip hop, pop, rock, um, R and B. I mean, we literally. That's kind of one of the reasons why we we named ourselves the Black Pack. We, the idea behind the Black Pack is that um, if you take a, like a painter's palette mm -hmm. and you mix all the colors up in the palette, 
um, the, the color that you get is something very close to black. And that's the way we look at our music, is that we are a variety of every type, every style, and we're a flavor of all, the, all sorts of different personalities. And together we become one, which is the color black. I love that. I didn't know that. And now I know <laughs> that. You. Play another Thank nursery you. rhyme for me. Let's do it. All right. Let's which let's one's this? OG. We do um, Spider. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he's on the ukulele. Yeah, this is my mandolin. I, oh, mandolin. I, um, I should have known that. Yeah, and uh, I only started playing this uh, when, I, when I bought it, which is about a couple months ago. But um, you, I'm trying to, trying to learn it and get it, get it right. So, so excuse my uh, you know, imperfectness, but um, I'll do what I can. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four. It's a it's a spider wind up to wet a spell. Down came the rain and rushed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried the ball. It's a bitch of spider went up to spout again. It's a bitch of spider went up to run a spout. Down in the rain, I rushed the spider out. Now I'll bring us on and dry the ball of rain. It's a bitch of spider went up to spout again. It's a bitch of spider spun a spiral web. Cut a little grasshopper whose life began to wear. Sucked up all the juices and grew a size of day. It's a bitch of spider will build the web of rain. on the mandolin perfect on the mandolin <laughs> i have to tell you you need to make a kids album because i have kids and i do not like playing kids music it drives me nuts <laughs> but if the... i had your album i would play it you know and that's love a good it. idea you know there are so many parents out there that want to listen to the same music their kids listen to you could you should have you have you recorded and do you have things that people can uh, stream? We do. We, we have some stuff that recorded. It's, it's really tough for us between our live schedule and life. Recording is one of the things that takes one of the longest, uh, hardest things for us to do. Um, so we do have stuff that's available on Spotify and iTunes. We don't have any of the nursery rhymes, uh, the nursery rhyme stuff at all, but we're trying to get it up. We, we want to do a, a Kickstarter for it, but the logistics of it have actually been a lot harder than we thought, and it's been Why really is that? tough to get through. They're public domain, aren't they, the songs? Uh, most, yeah, most of them are, uh, not every single one, uh, I, I believe like Itsy Bitsy is and maybe You Are My Sunshine and a few others, there, there, there's quite a big list, but um, part of it has to do with the business part um, with our, <laughs> actually with taxes and things like that we're trying to figure out, so once, once we figure that all out and, and get everything filed properly, then, then we could probably start the Kickstarter well, off right. Are you suggesting the IRS is after you right now? <laughs> Excuse me? Are you suggesting the IRS is after you right now? I don't know. I'm just gonna, hmm, what? <laughs> okay. So right now you're spending all your time doing live performances on TikTok and then also doing live shows as well, right? We, we were doing live shows, but our live shows. And once the pandemic started, we actually haven't been back on the road since. Are you making money um, on TikTok? We're making money. Oh, you we're can't say money. it. The IRS is probably listening. Yeah. No money. I'm not making that much money. You're not making that, not much, that much money. money. <laughs> hey, listen, if you want to do a kid's album and there's some way that you could tie me, I, I would help you promote it. I would, uh, you know, it could be Bobby's World Presents, you know, uh, Black Media, it, it, whatever you want. I just think that I think that we could do this together. 
how whatever you want to do i'm down for i it. want whatever the world to do. hear your music what do you want to play Thank next you. i just i can't i i'd rather i have a lot of questions and whatever we want to talk about i could talk about but this is i feel like i found this gem that I just want to share with the world. And, and the thing is that I, uh, I don't like the sound of my own voice when you three are sitting there and uh, you can make such much sweeter sounds than me or my daughter can. Hey. Well, you, okay, wait. Don't say anything. I'm going to have Jackie sing. No, no. Go ahead. No, go ahead. no. Jackie, you sing You Are My Sunshine. And we'll compare it. You sit, go ahead. Go ahead, Jackie. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy <laughs> when skies yeah. are gray. <laughs> you never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. That was good. Now you guys yeah. do it. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, now, now let's hear you guys. Okay. And I'll just, All right. I'll judge. I think, I, I, just, I think I'm going to win. I don't think so. <laughs> I just want to say, like, um, I would love to have you feature on, on the album. No think, way! Be, wow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. We have to. I think on that voice alone, Thank you. I think it's definitive that you're, you're going to guest feature with me. Thank you. Well, well oh. show her how it's done. <laughs> See, Dad, I'm good. No, I don't think so. No. I just think he's nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. One, two, three. The other night. Yes, I was sleeping. I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I walked there, I was mistaken. So I bowed my head and cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Got a feeling, Jackie, they're doing better than you. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. <laughs> Hit it. I'll let you guys sing with me sometime if you want. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really, Kathy? Yeah. You don't you don't see the difference? No, I do. I'm joking. Okay, that's amazing. Everything you do is amazing. <laughs> what is your favorite? What, it, what when you're not playing, what do you listen to? Oh, man, I, I it's literally a variety. Like one of my top favorites honestly though is my personal favorite is I actually listen to a lot of um weird, crazy, outside, abstract jazz. It's like Ornette Coleman, um, like Miles, weird stuff. I mean, I like Miles, like kind of blue stuff, but I like the weird stuff Miles too. Um, I, I have a lot of really eccentric jazz taste. Um, well, Alex, what do you listen to? Oh man, I have a lot of Miles, you know, a lot of hip hop. I've been on a, Miles and like a Biggie kick actually recently. <laughs> I was listening to Biggie last night. <laughs> you guys do any hip hop? We we do. Um, I don't know if we have anything prepared for you. No, today, you don't have to. Do you don't definitely. have to. What's the weirdest yeah, we, song? We definitely do hip hop. We we absolutely do. <laughs> What's the weirdest song you have prepared that you could play today? The weirdest, like surprise. I think everything you're playing is kind of weird and surprising that there is a group putting together these. 
Are you talking amongst yourselves now? Are you? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just thinking. Uh, I think that for me, I think the weirdest song actually. I think this one is kind of. It's another nursery rhyme. Go ahead. But it's. Yeah, this is weird to me because like, okay, so here's the story with this song. This song is like, it's a really hated song. All right, I I did this song because everyone hates it. And, is that and Shark, I hate Baby it. Shark? No, I hate that song too, but that's, that's <laughs> not the song I'm talking about. So, so that song, and, you know, and like, it, it just gets weird and funny and monotonous and old, right? Right. So we took this song and we decided to rip it up. And, and again, just to let you know how we, all these songs that you're hearing today, these versions, except for Toys R Us Kid, they're all versions that no one's ever heard. This is the first time we're performing them this way. We've wow. we, like the short format on TikTok, but these are literally the world premiere of, of It's a Bitsy Spider and You're My Sunshine in the full version, including this song. So we've done a, a snippet of this one. This is uh, Wheels on the Bus. Don't they okay, go round so. and round? Yeah, Told something you. like that. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna do. I do hate Wheels that on the bus. And hopefully we don't I make like you throw up from from how terrible what? the song is. But I we're like gonna do song. it. So really? Oh yeah. yeah, that was my, when my daughter got married. That was the with the the first dance. Our that first was dance. that was the song they sang. They played. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wheels on the bus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What, what, for real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so this is bringing back our anniversary. No, no. Let's play it. This is gonna remind her of our wedding. <laughs> awesome. You change your guitar. One sec, one sec. Um, let me change your guitars real fast. Okay. All right, go ahead, Alex. Change. I have an Alex, too. My son Alex is here. My son Alex. Okay. I have an Alex, too. My husband Alex. We have a lot of Alex. We do have a lot of She has an Alex, too. Her husband is named Alex. So is my son. He's and my brother. This. He's producing this. And your brother. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's part Which of our makes seven. it weird. How many people are in your channel right now? Uh, in our channel, is 2,300. So we haven't added one. <laughs> We haven't even added one. I think we you went down. You were 2,300 when you were alone. Then I came on, and not one more person came on board. <laughs> this is not good for my ego. <laughs> Let's all sing oh, the man. wheels on the bus go round and round. Go. <laughs> I'm going to unmute you, okay? Ready? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm good. Ready? All right, here we go. Let's go. Wheels on the bus. Don't throw up. Here we go. One, two, one second. Okay. Here we go. One, two, Get on a bus. 
And that's a world <laughs> premiere. Okay, this is a part that I'm gonna edit out. J Jeremy, do we have a recording from his side? We do. Okay, so good. So we have it. We went down a little bit. We'll edit this part out so we have it. And, and, but that was amazing. I heard the, all right, you'll edit that out. Great. <laughs> wow. You know, they also have original songs too. Do you guys prefer playing your original music? Or? No, we, we don't have a preference. No, you we don't? love doing okay. all music. We're, we're not biased towards our own music at all. We love originals. We love covers. We love canvases. Everything and anything. I have to tell you, the wheels on the bus, though, I wish I knew that you sang that song during my wedding. I would have had you there or played your version of it. It was way better <laughs> than the version I danced to. We, we would have been very honored. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm amazed that, I'm just amazed at what you can do. And every one of these songs, in my mind, deserves to go viral deserves to be streamed, deserves to be... They listened. do go viral. They're huge on TikTok. I know, but even <laughs> okay. more, even okay. more, All right. even more. And I, I would love to see you live. When do you think you're going to be out live again? We have to see. A lot of that Your actually health. lies on my, my health. Oh. So I, I've actually, I've, I've been on a journey since I, I came out of the hospital about two years ago. I lost 200 pounds. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Yeah, or is that... Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's been really, really hard to do that, but, but I've, I've maintained steady. And because of that, I'm healthier now, but I've still got a lot more to go. I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy, Howie, and, and I'm trying to get down there to the point where I can be safer from things like COVID. If I get sick right now with the, with the lymphedema that I have and the problems that I have, it's just dangerous. So, like, we've had offers to go on different TV shows. I've had to turn them down because I've been scared to get you know, to get sick. Oh my God. So I, I just, you know, this is, this is like- You're being terrible now and you're watching what, what your health? Now. Though I've seen well, you, how, but you're taking care of yourself, right? I am. I'm trying every day. Every day, my, my family, we all fight together. We cook healthy food. Um, I walk. Uh, I, I get exercise. Um, I, try to, I try to sleep more. Um, that doesn't happen very often, but, but I try. And, and I'm trying to get healthier every day. It's, it's a, such a journey with my, my family support. I'm so lucky, but it's, it's not easy. How did you meet the other members of the band? How did you guys all get together? And how long have you been together? <laughs> oh, man. Um, Alex, you want, you want to talk about this one here? Oh, uh, man. Uh, it, it's like a movie, like seriously, when I think about it. So I was at a, uh, I was at a guitar center playing guitar, as guitar players do. And, at uh, the guitar center? Like, yeah, at guitar center. And it, it was so funny. So I was playing guitar in this like expensive guitar room, basically. And uh, Sonny walked in, and we had our backs to each other, but we just started <laughs> jamming for... <laughs> It felt like I don't know how long, like like an hour or something. Yeah, it felt like, like that. a long time. Yeah, we and we were just I, I didn't even see him, he didn't even see me. We we're just, you know, facing away. And uh we started jamming and then, you know, we both turned around and locked eyes and, <laughs> and it was love. <laughs> it, was, it, it, was, it was a very look, it, it really does seem like like I found I saw him and I was hitting on him, but that's not the case. But right. that's very much what it felt like. He was playing he was playing guitar across the room. I walked in, I was like, wow, that guy's seeming sexy on the guitar. So I started playing like, with like ran, I didn't even look at him. I had my back face to him, right, back to back. We we're like away from me on each other on the other side of the room, right? <laughs> but we started jamming and we played for like 20, 30 minutes at yeah, least. Yeah. And, wow. And then at the end of the at the end of the jam, I didn't even look at him. Oh. I didn't even talk to him. I, I kind of so, glanced at you, gave you like a sly yeah, little like nod. Little, yeah. And then I walked away. I went to the car, and then I sent Jake. I said, Jake, go get his number. Jake, go get his number. Go get his number. We're gonna play with this guy. Wow. And then the rest is history. <laughs> but he understood when he got a note from Jake saying, uh, "My friend wants to play with you." He knew uh, music. Uh, <laughs> he knew music, right? He knew what you were talking yeah. about. How did you know yeah, Jake? He knew. I knew. I knew. I understood. He knew. How do you know Jake? How do I know Jake? Oh, uh, hold on. One sec. Jake, you take this. Um, I've known Sonny for a long time. Thank you. That's a good story. That one. That story isn't as good as the first story about the eyes locking, but it is a good story. Go ahead. <laughs> I met Sonny when I was when I was just a kid. Really, I was 13 years old. Um, and pretty quickly became like a mentor, like a brother, big brother to me. Um, I love the guy. And uh, ever since then, we've just been working together on music and anything under the sun. Do you play Whether a full set of drums? Do you, you play, because I noticed here you're playing either the, the box or the yeah, congas. Yeah, or the, so, yeah. Sorry. When we go, um, when we play like kind of a bigger shows and outside of the studio, we'll do full drum set, electric guitar, um, bass, the whole deal. And where are you? Is this Sonny's house? 
It's we, we all we all uh, we all live together. Um, it's it's not my house. It's actually my my friend's house, um, and and we live we live here. We rent the house together, and uh, we're very lucky. So Alex Alex doesn't live here anymore. He kind of he comes over. He basically lives here almost. Um, but um, so Alex um, does not. But Jake and uh, there's my there's Kristen. There's Eric. There's a few other people. My wife, my dog. We all live together, and um, and we do music together on on different platforms, different things. Uh, we have we have other versions of our band. We have we have people that come in. We have Ryu Carr who comes in and plays bass all the time. He's one of our best friends. Uh, we have Tammy who comes in and, and she does guitar and backup. It's it's wild. It gets, we're, we're very um, organic kind of group that just changes pieces all the but time. But you know, Anytime it comes off like that. When busy. I watch, it's the most comforting. There's kind of a warm heartbeat that goes along with your music. And you could see that everybody loves each other. Everybody is having a good time. And it doesn't feel like a job. It doesn't feel like a concert. I'm talking from a viewer and a listener. You know, and I leave it on for hours. You know, the whole, I'll watch the whole stream. My wife and I just lie there and we listen and watch the whole stream sometimes. I was on for months and months before I, you know, I, I messaged you, but I just thought it was like the coolest thing I ever saw. It, you guys are just so cool. I love listening to you. You want to play us something else? Sure. I think it's you, amazing um, that you were able to transition from doing live shows and then now doing them on TikTok and make a living and continue doing what you love to do. It is the best concert on TikTok. Yeah. And TikTok is there for the entire world. So I'm telling if anybody hasn't clicked into them, click into them and watch them. It's better than anything you can do your own. Uh, it's it's just it's just an amazing. It feels good. It's really comforting. I don't know why you're so comforting. Even listening to you talk is comforting and it's just this warm fun feeling where i feel like i'm in a private club just either smiling or grooving or just you know just having a good time it's a real you guys like i i just i have the same response to both of you and what you guys have said like um it, it's it's insane for for you howie to say what you're saying about the comfort is is very special to to all of us it speaks great volumes because uh, and this also ties into what Jackie was saying about being able to transition from doing live shows into what we're doing now. Like the whole point of what we're doing now is um, we we do it because it's really what we love, and it, it's wonderful that we can make we can make money, generate revenue, or find a way to to make a living out of it. Um, but the number one thing is that that this is a passion, and and I always say this on our streams. I say this when we're we're like in our video game streams or whatever it is that we're doing. We talk about how. Like even if there was no one listening, we would still do what we're doing because this is literally what we love to do. We're just lucky to be able to have a medium where people want to engage and share in it too. Um, and the fact that you said that you feel that comfort is everything to us because we just want to bring you the joy that we feel when we're playing the music. Like ultimately, if you like it, that's wonderful. If you don't, I understand, but like, if we can get you to smile, then we've literally accomplished everything that we wanted to do with our music. That, that's it, that's what we wanna do. We wanna share the positivity and the love that we feel when we're playing this music together. If it can somehow transcend into what you feel in this moment, in this dark and kind of gloomy state that we're all in, then we've done what we needed so, to do. So uh, one more time, make us smile, play something. All right, I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> okay. We're gonna listen to this one. You said you're a gamer. What what games are you playing? What do you stream? Oh, oh, okay. Well, we're gonna, no, okay. We're gonna do. Would we okay to do an original song for you? Yeah. Yeah. I would love All to. Right. Tell us about this. What is it? All right. This one is called "These Are the Moments." It's a a song that Alex and I um, and uh, Jake we all wrote together, and it talks about how. Uh, a lot of times, life is to, to people. It's about getting to the end and to the goals, um, and to kind of where you wanted to to be. For, for me, life is more about everything that happens in between. Uh, and, and this is a song called These Are the Moments. So, you want to change guitars? Okay, one second. We're going to change guitars real fast. Well, I'm, you know, I'm a proponent of that because, I, you know, I always talk about my mental health and that. And the key to a good mental health is living in the now, you know? So, this is going to speak to me. I cannot wait to hear it. Well, he gets a new guitar. Awesome. What is the game you play on your gaming uh, streams? Oh, man. We, we play all sorts of games. Everything from uh, Super Mario Maker for Nintendo Switch to uh, League of Legends. Uh, we, we nerd out, Call of Duty, um, anything. We just get together and we have a, a multi-cam setup where it shows um, four or five people playing at the same time and we play as a family together right. uh, on stream. Well, thanks for inviting me. Anyway. <laughs> You're not part of the family, Dad. Do, do, you, do, you, do you play, Howie? Oh, what do you play? Oh, I, play uh, I play, sometimes I play Pong and then... Duck uh, Hunt? And Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's hear... 
okay. the original song. These are the moments. Let me meet your mic real moments. quick. Or your uh, guitar. Duck Hunt used to be my favorite game. Oh, I'll need my ukulele too. One oh, second. And here's the ukulele. Oh, I, the I love ukulele. the ukulele. What's the difference between a ukulele and a mandolin? A uh, mandolin has uh, eight strings, and this one has uh, four strings and different tuning. I know. I was just testing you. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I'm not sure if I did, actually. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. All right, these are the moments, original song. And this one is available on Spotify and iTunes and all this stuff. All right. So. Okay, here we go, Alex.
These are the moments. You guys are amazing. Can you do, just, uh, uh, we're going to wrap it up right now, but can you just shout out where do you want people to download, like under your websites, your, what do you want to promote? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you can find our music on Spotify and iTunes. Search Sunny and the Black Pack. Our biggest presence is probably TikTok. Um, please follow us there. We're named Black Media Presents. If you search that on Google, you can find us anywhere and everywhere. We got a Patreon. We got we got everything. Just search us on Google and you'll find us. But our biggest presence is TikTok, and we got lots of music on YouTube as well. Tons of free music on YouTube. We got like well, 70, 80 songs up there. Sunny and the Black Pack. I hope this is the beginning of a relationship where I would love to help you to release uh, music. I would love to be part of it. Um, thank you for singing with my daughter and showing us that she isn't as good as she thinks she is. <laughs> you guys are great human beings. I wish you nothing but health. I wish you luck. And I think that uh, I want to see you explode. And thank you for taking part in uh, Howie Mandel Does Stuff. This has been a lot of fun stuff. See you guys. Thank you, Howie. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.